Today, we're looking at Dimines Denim. Hi, I'm Adam, and I'm an ink guy. I get inks, test them, and share the results with you. Now, Diamine's Denim is a blue ink. And to make sure I have a range of experience with this ink, I do the writing samples. I then put the ink into a different pen for a day. I then put it into a Noodler's Nib Creeper to take my notes for this video. Before we get to the writing samples, let's look at the sciency bits. And up first is the chromatography. And I agree with Vita that I've learned a lot by doing multiple chromatographies. The one on the left is done the way it's supposed to be done. I put a line of ink down. Uh, I immediately put it in the water for 10 to 15 seconds. And what we see is a light kind of purpley blue that stays at the bottom. A very light blue pushes up. It becomes very dark. There's an interesting separation where we get a different, very light blue across the top and a different much darker blue than the light blue. Now the l area of lighter blue is kind of like a blue leaning turquoise. It's very interesting and the blue at the very top is not as dark as that dark line. So we see a lot of different colors going to make up this ink. The one on the right I let dry for 10 minutes before I dunk it into water. And what we see as a difference between the two of them is we really don't see very much, well the, the bottom line is much darker showing a little bit of some uh, permanence that may be with it. We don't see very much, just a thin line of the very light blue and then the darker blue and the rest moving up becomes very much the same. But it makes me feel that this particular ink might have quite a bit of hold on and resistance when it comes to cleaning out from the pens. Resistance tests are done to see how this ink can be expected to perform on the page and more importantly, how hard it might be to clean from your pens. I let the smear dry for three days before testing it. Looking at the highlighter, we see that it does have a little bit of feathering and spreading that occurs when it's reactivated, which makes me feel like this might not be the perfect ink to take notes with if you have to go back and highlight. When I put the water down, I just put that drop there for 30 seconds, and in 30 seconds, it very much reactivates, very much pulls a lot of the ink off the page, leaving only, you know, some of that light blue behind. Now, Pen Flush does a lot of what the water does. It did smear around and what have you, created some very nice looking blooming. But what I get from it is it does very much what the water does. It reactivates a lot, pulls a lot up. A bit more of the ink does come off the page. When you look across the top, you start to get to see some of the dots of the Rhodia paper. This means that maybe that's your best option when, you know, that may be water itself might not be enough to get this from your pen, but hopefully it is. Bleach, as would be expected, completely obliterates, removing most all of it from the page, leaving only a little bit of yellow staining from the bleach or something from the ink there left behind. For the inks I've tested, I have found an average viscosity of 2.5, with the realm of normal being from 2.1 to 2.9. Diamine's denim has a viscosity of 2.29, which what we get to see with that is it's normal. It's right inside the normal range, which is a very good thing. To find my dry times, I use my writing samples done with the extra fine and medium nib on Clairefontaine, Tomoe River, and Rhodia paper. For the inks I've tested, I have found an average dry time of 17 seconds, with a realm of normal being from 13 to 21 seconds. Diamine's denim has an average dry time of 19 seconds. So while the viscosity was on the lower side of normal, the dry time is on the higher side of normal. Now, let's look at the writing samples. So I picked this ink up in sample form. And to keep my writing samples consistent, I use a Jinhao 159 with a Goulet 1.1 stub, a Jinhao X450 with a Goulet medium, and a Jinhao X750 with a Goulet extra fine. Let's look at Clairefontaine, but man, I am fighting with my earpiece. Stop it. Let's look at Clairefontaine. We get no bleeding. We get no ghosting. The 1.1 has no feather, no spread, no halo, no sheen, no shade. Eh. The extra fine goes to a lighter tone. It has no feather, spread, halo, sheen, or shade. It took 13 seconds for it to dry. The medium gave us the same story of no feather, spread, halo, sheen, or shade. 
and 19 seconds to dry. Now the scrubby told us not to expect any of you know any shading, and we didn't get any. None in the scrub, none in the writing. The smear test view could likely recover this. So I look at Tomoy River paper, which gives no bleeding. It does give ghosting. The 1.1 has no feather spread, halo sheen or shade. It's very dark. The extra fine. It's a lighter tone with no feather spread, halo sheen or shade and 20 seconds to dry. Now the medium gave us a darker tone than we got with the extra fine. I think it's a shade or two lighter than what we have with the 1.1. So we're getting shading through our use of pen. It has no feather spread, halo sheen, no shading in the writing. It's a shade difference between other pens. The scrub, or 27 seconds to dry. The scrubby for both shows us we're not going to expect color variation. We didn't get color variation. The smear test, you're likely not going to be able to recover it. So the Rhodia, no bleeding, no ghosting. The 1.1 gave no feather spread, halo sheen, or shade. The extra fine. The extra fine, it had no feather spread, halo, sheen, or shade, and took 15 seconds to dry. The medium, no feather spread, halo, sheen, shade, none of it, 20 seconds to dry. When I used this in a uh, nib creeper, I got the same thing. And the color reminds me of Wranglers. Like the pants. So, I mean, denim's a nice name for it. It's an appropriate name for it. Not a fond memory. You know. The medium, no feather spread, halo, sheen, or shade, 20 seconds to dry. Scrubby shows us we're not going to get any color variation. And we didn't. I am sorry. That my beard is brushing against the microphone. The smear test says we can likely recover this if we did smear it. So we look to the yellow rhodia which gives us no bleeding, no ghosting. The 1.1 gives no feather spread, halo, sheen, or shade. The extra fine, no feather spread, halo, sheen, or shade, and took 15 seconds to dry. Medium, same story, no feather spread, halo, sheen, or shade, 20 seconds to dry. The scrubby said you don't get any shading. We didn't get any shading. The smear test says you could likely recover it. I believe it. I'm not a fan of this color. It, you know, I wear denim all the time. This is not the tone of denim I like. So we looked at the Limon paper. Now the 1.1 didn't do horrible. It had a ton of spots that looked like it's starting to want to bleed through. The medium and the 1.1 had a lot of spots where it was wanting to bleed through, but it never bled through entirely onto the next page. That did give us a lot of ghosting with it. Now the 1.1 has spread. It has feathers. Tons of feathers. No halo, no sheen, no shade. The extra fine has no f has spread, has feathers has no halo, no sheen, no shade, and eight seconds to dry. This ink hated this paper. It was like it was trying to escape. Medium. It's a darker tone. It spreads. It feathers. It has no halo, no sheen, no shade. Took 12 seconds to dry. The extra fine and the medium scrubby said you don't get any color variation, and you didn't. And if you made the bad choice of putting this ink on this paper and you smeared it, you would be able to recover it. So at least you got that going for you, because that's all I have for the writing sample. Instead of finding inks that look like Diamine's denim, I would prefer to find an ink that complements its color on the page. And I've chosen Colorverse Mars Curiosity, because it's a very nice red to go with this very dark blue. Before I give my opinion on this ink, I would ask, if you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if it's your first time here, I would invite you to subscribe. So what do I think of Diamine's Denim? I think it's a very dark blue ink. It reminds me of Wranglers that my mother used to get me from Kmart, which just the thought of makes my nether regions feel a bit chafed. That color association for me makes this not be the blue that I would want. On top of that, most blue inks don't really wow me and make me want to use them all the time. It's the associ association in my head of the Wranglers that this very much looks like. That aside, this being called denim and reminding me of Wranglers 
means the, the name's pretty good as a match for the color of the ink. Thanks for watching.